Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Thank you so much for joining me for another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Now, I recorded this tip right before the Super Bowl, so I don't know who won yet. But as you can see, I'm a little bit biased a bit. <laughs> so when you actually watch this video, I'll either be really happy or really sad. So anyway, enough about football. Let's move on to the AutoCAD tip, shall we? The real reason that you're here. So today I'm gonna to share with you a tip on transparency. So transparency was added into AutoCAD a few releases ago. Huge wish list request. It was on the Augie wish list for a long time. If you're familiar with the Autodesk User Group International. If not, visit Augie.com because they're awesome. And uh, so let's talk about transparency. Just wanna make sure you get it, you understand it, the whole deal, all right? So if you take a look at this drawing, I have a lot of solid fills and they're covering up. There's actually furniture and other objects underneath the solid fills. It'd be great if I could add transparency to them. And one of the nice things about transparency is that it's an actual property. So you can add it to any object. You can also add it to layers, which is very cool. So they didn't just throw it into hatches. They added it to everything, which makes it even better if you ask me. All right, so let me just zoom in on here. We'll just do this one at a time. And I'm gonna turn selection cycling on. That's a topic for an, another tip. And I'm going to try to select just the hatch pattern, okay? All right, so selection cycling makes it really easy for me to do that. Now, if you take a look at the ribbon, and of course, I hope you're not a ribbon rebel and you're using the ribbon, you will see that there's an option here for transparency, which makes it really easy for me to control the transparency of that hatch object, which is a solid fill, it's just a hatch, right? Of course, the further you move it to the right, the more transparent it's going to be. Uh, you can only set it as high as 90 because, well, let's face it, we don't want to set it to 100 because, well, then it would be invisible. <laughs> that wouldn't really do us any good, would it? All right, so I'm going to see a oh, pretty good shot. I wanted to hit 80. Good job. So there I have it, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of there. Here we go. Look, see? Who knew? Furniture underneath there. Yay. <laughs> so, so I have that hatch pattern is transparent. All right. So I want to correct all of the hatch patterns, right? So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna try this one more time, and I'm gonna grab the hatch. I'm gonna use another tool, which I am going to talk about another time as well, called Select Similar, another one of my favorite tools. And that went out and grabbed all of the hatches, all right, grabbed them all, so that I'm ready to make them all transparent. So one of the nice thing about uh, transparency is it also, since it's a property, it shows up in the properties dialog box. So I can come over here to properties. Here you'll see the transparency option and I wanna set that to 80, right? All right, let's see, let's see how it looks. There you go, furniture, all kinds of good things underneath that those objects. So they're quite transparent now. So you'll also see if you go into the layer dialog box that transparency is an option per layer. That's another way of doing it. Instead of by object, you can do it by layer. And I did wanna point out though, when you go to plot, let me just do a quick right click here. Let's go into the plot command. I just want you to notice that where it says plot transparency, I want you to see that it's not checked. And by default, it isn't checked. So if you just go into the plot command, I mean, if you face it, it looks kind of like that. Probably more than likely your plot command looks more like that. And you don't even see that there's an option for plotting transparency. Um, you go plot and you'll be like, hey, my transparency is not showing up. Okay, so just so you know, you have to click on the arrow and select plot transparency. It's not on by default. And uh, one of the reasons for that is because in order to plot transparencies, AutoCAD has to vect, excuse me, has to rasterize the drawing file and the process of rasterizing slows your plot down. So in the interest of saving time, they chose to make that the default. So, but it's easy to fix it, isn't it? Just select plot transparency and we will all live happily ever after, especially if the Anyway, all right, so if you haven't tried transparency before, I wanna make sure that you try it, and it's pretty easy to use, as you can see, and I am gonna see you back here in two more weeks. Thanks for joining me.